Hey guys, I'm Emily, also known as Adventuring Armadillo. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, for my first video, I'm going to be trying some snacks from one of my many great local Asian markets. Uh, this particular market is called K Oriental Market. It's on Bowman and Little Rock. So if you are in uh, the Little Rock area and you're interested in going there, I will put the address in the description below so that you can check it out yourself. Um, they had lots of interesting things. I just picked out a few. So, without further ado, let's begin. The first things I got were of the more chewy candy variety. One of them is my personal favorite. This is Haichu. This is Haichu Strawberry. Haichu comes in a just a multitude of flavors. Uh, apple, grape, mango, banana. Just about any flavor you can think of, Haichu makes. This flavor's uh, strawberry, one of my favorites. This is the version that was made for American audiences, so instead of being made in Japan, this is made under the license of the Japanese company, but it's made... Oh, now it's going to be hard to read because it's metallic. It's made in Taiwan. So, not the OG Haichu, but good nonetheless. So going to get that open. It's a simple, oh, and there's one that comes out the top. So, Haichu comes in little wax paper covered cubes. You peel those cubes and you end up with a chewy candy with white-ish colored on the outside but inside it has the color of whatever the fruit flavor is. In this case, it's pink. If you had a grape one, it would be purple. If you had an apple one, it would be green. Um, it's squishy. Um, a little harder than, say, a Starburst. So let's take this Haichu. Let's dissect it, shall we? Take my knife, cut it on the slant. You can see it is really, uh, really a sticky, gummy type of candy. All right, now I'll try it. It's very chewy. I'm trying not to be rude. It's very chewy. It's delicious. Um, in some ways, it is your traditional American strawberry candy flavor, and in other ways, it does have the more floral flavor to it that a lot of um, other cultures use in place of um, American flavors, which American flavors tend to be very overly sweet, whereas some uh, other cultures tend to have more accurate, less sweet flavors. And that sort of the haichu, especially the ones that are made in Taiwan, sort of straddle the border between that sweet candy American flavor and that more accurate, less sweet Japanese flavor. Uh, so I like haichu. It strikes sort of the perfect balance for me. It is very, very chewy. In some ways, it serves as a gum replacement. Um, that way you don't have to dispose of the gum. You can chew on a piece of haichu for quite a while, and uh, it sticks around. Sometimes uh, literally sticks to your molars. So the next thing we've got is like a haichu, but where haichu 
or where that haichu was made in Taiwan. This product is made in Japan. This one is a little more legitimate. And I've got these two flavors of Puchao. I assume that's how that's pronounced. I'm not great at pronunciation. Puchao. And it says right on the package. Made in Japan. So, the two flavors I got. One was melon. One was melon. And the other flavor. Uh, this says on there, soft and gummy, gummy and soft candy. Uh, with juicy gummy and chewy candy, or chewy melon candy on the melon. So let's open it first. I usually really, I have enjoyed every melon flavored Japanese product I've had. Um, I think that has to do with me liking cantaloupe though. It comes off just like the Haichu wrapper. But this... Still comes in a little foil package. So we'll undo the foil. And it looks like a flat high chew. But it's got the white on the outside and the same flavor color on the inside. In this case, it's the melon color. So we'll go ahead and give it go ahead and give it a slice. It's a little harder than the high chew. Less uh, strictly gummy. You'll see it's got a different texture on the inside. The haichu uh, split really cleanly apart. Oh, well, this looks like a sandwich. The haichu split really cleanly apart, and this came apart with a bit more of a texture. So, I've liked every other Japanese melon flavored candy I've had, so I'm hoping this is no different. Mm. It's a lot harder than the haichu. The haichu, you start chewing on it, and it starts sort of melting. Puchow does not start melting. It's very solid. The flavor is very good, very accurate, very floral, very fruity. It tastes like a slightly underripe cantaloupe. Uh, maybe if you've eaten a cantaloupe down to where it's close to the rind and it sort of tastes a little grassy, that's a lot like what this flavor is. So that was very interesting. Uh, it's another Japanese melon flavor that I really like. We're going to try the ramenay flavor now. On the ramenay, it says that it has ramenay soda gummies, chewy ramenay soda candy, and fizzy tablet. So it says there's fizzy tablets in here. It's been a while since I've had a fizzy candy. I just, I love doing that, even if I drop the candy. So again another foil packet. Yeah, it's foil. Look just like the other one. Ooh, it looks like toothpaste. 
See? A little toothpaste -y. Oh, you can see the fizzy. You can see the fizzy tablet. And I would guess Do you see the fizzy tablet? And I would guess on this end, it's hard to see because it's really far down in there. I guess that's the gummy. And I don't know if I should cut this one. But I'm going to for the sake of demonstration. Oh, it's so sticky. God, it's just too tacky. Like poster putty, like, no, I can't get inside it, I'll just have to eat it whole, this one will just have to be consumed whole, there's nothing you can do to cut it up, mm. <laughs> It's great. It's just a little tart. The fizz in it is a little like a sweet tart, like a, a sherbet type candy. It does give a little fizz. It tastes, and I'm probably getting a little Americocentric here. It tastes a little like a blue sweet tart, which I know is kind of weird. Because blue sweet tarts are punch flavored. And most people consider Ramenade to be more lemon lime flavored. And there is definitely a little lemon lime to it. But it sort of had a punchy, fruity, candy taste. I can easily see that taste appealing to kids, especially being blue. Um, it was good. It was tart. It was... The only problem I had was the texture, which was just like the cantaloupe texture. It was just a little too hard it didn't melt it's my my one complaint otherwise i love these candies both flavors and there were more flavors at the grocery if you like this video let me know in the comments give me a thumbs up like the video subscribe whatever uh your particular way of showing interest is and i'll go back to the asian market and i'll go to more markets and find more of these i'll try more puchos and haichus um they already think I'm the crazy white girl going in there anyway, so let's try our next candy. Our next candy is an ever popular item, one that is known around the world and tried by almost everyone on YouTube that eats food. And if I'm going to be eating food on YouTube, I guess it's just a rite of passage that I try. Green tea Kit Kats. Green tea Kit Kats. Uh, these are made in Japan. It says that's somewhere on them, but I don't know where. There's a lot of things on it uh, that I can't read. Hopefully none of these things are poison. Do not eat. That would be really unfortunate to have in a store, though, wouldn't it? So, give them a try. They're... Is there a tear here? No. Okay, great. Oh, these are like a special edition, too. These are matcha, not just green tea. Sorry, I was mistaken. I believe these are some sort of special matcha flavor. They've got like little, little green specks in the candy bar. We'll see if that's what they look like in real life. When you open the bag, it just smells like plastic because... It's full of plastic bags of Kit Kats. I made a mess. So, I got one out. Is it still one I want? So I don't know. 
had little cute things on them. Ah, oh, this one. This is the one I want. Oh, a bird. All right. So, it says Kit Kat, Nestle, something in Japanese. I don't know. Something in Japanese I can't read. Uh, on the back, it says, have a break, have a Kit Kat. Which I think is the slogan in the United States too. Ah, come on. On the back, it says, have a break, have a Kit Kat, which I believe is the slogan in the United States too. It's also got a little bird with a speech bubble where you can write a little message to give to your friends or loved ones. And on the other side, it's just got, or on the underside of the label, it's just got all your Nestle contact information. Who to contact if you have a complaint. Hopefully, I won't have a reason to contact them. So, open this green tea or matcha Kit Kat. Oh! Oh, it isn't the plain one. This is a special one. Ooh. See, it does have little... It does have little specks in it. Little, almost looks like little leaves. Is that really, maybe, really, really matcha or green tea in there? It's humid here, uh, so this is melting in my hand very quickly, uh, which white chocolate will tend to do. White chocolate does have a lower uh, melting point than regular chocolates do, uh, and this is made of white chocolate uh, that flavors are added into. So, should we cut it on the bias? Let's cut it on the bias. Oop. Okay, so it looks like green chocolate with regular wafer and then green uh, filling. That all makes sense because it turns out Kit Kats are on uh, the inside. The filling of a Kit Kat is uh, other Kit Kats. So we're going to give it a try. It's mostly just creamy. Oh. Okay. There is a green tea flavor. It's more subtle than I expected. Uh, I had the Yubari melon flavored Kit Kats before, and it was a very powerful, strong flavor. And so I was expecting that to be more like this, like you'd bite into it and it'd be like drinking green tea. And it's not really. It's sort of at the back of your tongue, you sort of taste this grassy, toasted flavor. Okay. It seems silly to give instructions on how to eat a Kit Kat. It seems silly to give instructions on how to eat a Kit Kat. Because it's it's just basic. Eat a Kit Kat. Step, step one, eat a Kit Kat. But if you eat this and you breathe in a little as you're chewing, you do get a little more of the floral green tea flavor. I won't say that you have to do that. I'm not the food police. But I do recommend it if you are buying this for the green tea flavor. So, our final product today is another one of my favorite flavors that I was introduced to when I was in college. Well, I was 
I was introduced to the Japanese version of this flavor. Uh, this is Korean. Most of the foods in this market were geared toward a Korean uh, clientele. So there were a lot of Korean foods. So I've had uh, this flavor before, but I've had it in Japanese candy. We'll see if it's different. And this is milk candy. Milk candy. See that? Oh my gosh! Okay, first, there's your there's your brand. Book. Separated at birth? Oh my gosh! Twins! Okay, cow. This is, this is the Harvest Moon cow. Alright, so inside, these are hard candies. I specifically picked up the hard ones because I like those. They did have soft milk candies, but the hard ones are what I remember liking, and I like sticking with things I know. Uh, for the first couple of times I've tried new things. They are individually wrapped. It smells like plastic and caramel. I keep doing that, don't I? So. have one of the candies. It says it's basically a tiny version of what the other package said. It's, it says new on this one. And on the back it just says new milk candy. So we'll open it. Okay, that's not exactly uh, what I thought it would be. Uh, the milk candy I've had before was sort of a creamy color, like it was made from sweetened condensed milk. This is white, very, very white. Hard, a little sticky from the humidity. Shiny. I mean, it looks like, like a hard candy, like a butterscotch or a cinnamon disc. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to try it. It tastes toasted. Really toasted. Not milky. Just kind of like the brown part of a roasted marshmallow. It is different. See, I really like sweetened condensed milk. Uh, I put it on ice cream, I put it on snow cones, I put it on just about anything. So when I brought milk candy, I thought, I'll taste like sweet condensed milk. That's my jam. This one doesn't. This one tastes toasty. It's really hard, too. I can't bite into it. I'm really trying. No. No. It's sweet. It's sweet. It doesn't taste really milky. And if I were comparing it to any flavor, it would be a marshmallow.
So, sort of mediocre at best. All right. It's a little of a kind of nutty taste, like coconut or something. Coconut doesn't really taste nutty, I know. Ignore that. Okay. So, if I were ranking these from best to worst, my favorite thing is the Haichu Strawberry, which was probably my favorite thing coming into this. My second favorite is the Puchao Ramane. I like the tartness. My third favorite is the Matcha Kit Kats, which I just... I enjoyed them. They had that green tea taste, that toasty taste that I like when I get a green tea. Of uh, the, what is this, fourth? Fourth uh, is the Puchao Melon. It had a great flavor, but the texture was not there. Uh, and my sort of, my least favorite was the Milky Candy. It was bland, boring, not what I expected. So, if you like this video and you would like to see me try more things, put uh, a comment down in the box, uh, in the comment section below telling me that you enjoyed it. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, just, you know, show some love, be kind, um, love. Be kind to me and Cal. We don't want to hurt anyone. Cal wants to hurt someone. Who hurt you, Cal? Who hurt you? Alright, anyway, bye.